In the shadows of time, secrets lie dormant, waiting for the light of discovery. Time has a knack for burying truths, for concealing the wonders of civilizations that once thrived. Among these buried truths are lost cities, once vibrant and teeming with life, now mere whispers in the annals of history. Their allure is undeniable, their stories, a blend of fact and folklore, continue to captivate us. One such city is Petra, an ancient marvel lost in the sands of time. This city, hidden deep within the rocky cliffs of Jordan, carries with it a mysterious past. Rumours of its existence permeated the narratives of nomadic tribes, stories of a city carved in stone, yet as elusive as a desert mirage. Its existence was debated, its location a mystery, its story an unfinished symphony. One such secret, the lost city of Petra, lay hidden for centuries, whispering its existence to those daring enough to listen. The year was 1812. A Swiss explorer, Johann Ludwig Burkhardt, embarked on a journey into the unknown. Burkhardt was an adventurer at heart, a man of courage and conviction. He had a burning desire to explore the mysteries of the world, and it was this passion that led him to the lands of the Middle East. His destination was the fabled lost city of Petra, whispered about in hushed tones by locals, a city hidden away from prying eyes, veiled by the rugged mountains of modern-day Jordan. To blend in and avoid arousing suspicion, Burkhardt took on the guise of an Arab scholar. He adopted the local customs, learned the language, and even assumed the name Sheikh Ibrahim ibn Abdallah. His disguise was more than a simple cover. It was a testament to his dedication and determination. Burkhardt's journey to Petra was fraught with peril. He faced the harsh realities of the desert, the relentless sun, and the ever-present danger of bandits. Yet he pressed on, driven by the allure of discovery. His resolve was as unyielding as the rocky terrain he traversed. After months of travel, Burkhardt finally stood before the city of Petra. The sight that greeted him was nothing short of breathtaking. A city carved into the very mountains that hid it, Petra was a testament to the ingenuity and artistic prowess of its ancient inhabitants, the Nabataeans. The city was a marvel of architecture and engineering, with elaborate tombs, temples and amphitheatres hewn from the rose-coloured stone. It was a symbiosis of man and nature, a hidden jewel nestled within the harsh desert landscape. Burkhardt's discovery was monumental. It was not just the unveiling of a lost city, but the unveiling of a forgotten civilization. His journey shed light on the history of the Middle East, and his findings continue to inspire explorers and historians alike. The significance of Burkhardt's discovery cannot be overstated. It was a feat of exploration, of courage and determination. It was a testament to the human spirit, to our innate desire to discover, to learn, to understand. And so, against all odds, Burkhardt unveiled the hidden jewel of Petra to the world. What Burkhardt found was beyond imagination, a city carved into the very rock. In an astonishing display of human dexterity and architectural genius, the city of Petra unfurled. A rose-red city, half as old as time, it was hewn directly from the vibrant, iron-laden sandstone cliffs. Its grandeur lay not merely in its size, but in the intricate detail of its design. The city was a symphony of structures, from the iconic treasury standing at a towering 40 meters high, to the royal tombs, amphitheater and sacred temples, all meticulously etched into the rock face. The city's unique features were many. A complex network of water conduits, for instance, showcased an innovative water management system, a testament to the ingenious minds of its creators. This system, an engineering marvel of its time, ensured the survival of the city and its inhabitants in the harsh desert environment. And who were these masterful creators? They were the Nabataeans, a nomadic Arab people with a keen eye for beauty and an unyielding spirit of endurance. Masters of the desert, they transformed Petra into a bustling caravan city, a nexus of the spice trade that stretched from the Arabian Peninsula all the way to the Mediterranean. The Nabataeans' extraordinary craftsmanship was evident in every corner of Petra. From the delicate carvings of the Aldair Monastery, a monument of unrivaled beauty, to the ornate facade of the Kazna, their ability to meld artistry with functionality was truly remarkable. 
Every monument, every edifice, every carving was a testament to their unwavering dedication and incredible skill. Yet, despite their architectural prowess, the Nabataeans maintained an air of humility. Their buildings, while impressive, were designed to blend seamlessly with the natural surroundings, a tribute to their deep respect for the land from which they had sprung. Petra, a testament to human ingenuity, stood gloriously revealed, etched in the stone of time. The rediscovery of Petra sent ripples through the world, changing our understanding of history. This ancient metropolis, lost to the sands of time, emerged as a treasure trove of knowledge, a window into an era shrouded in the mists of antiquity. Petra's discovery had profound implications for the field of archaeology. The city's well-preserved structures, intricate carvings and extensive water conduit system provided invaluable insights into the advanced engineering and architectural prowess of the Nabataeans. It was a testament to a civilization whose sophistication and ingenuity were far beyond what had been previously imagined. Unearthing Petra also reshaped historical narratives. It shed light on the complex trade networks of the ancient world, revealing Petra's pivotal role as a nexus of commerce and culture. Its strategic location and wealth made it a coveted prize among empires, a fact evidenced by the eclectic mix of Roman, Greek and Egyptian influences in its architecture. But for all that we've learned, Petra remains a wellspring of mystery. Even with countless hours of painstaking excavation and analysis, large portions of the city remain unexplored. The towering Eldare Monastery and the enigmatic Treasury Building, so named for the local legend of pirate treasure hidden within it, are but two examples of Petra's many secrets yet to be fully understood. Ongoing research continues to peel back the layers of Petra's history. Innovative technologies like ground-penetrating radar and satellite imagery are aiding archaeologists in their quest to decode the city's past. These efforts, far from diminishing Petra's allure, only serve to heighten it as each discovery brings with it a cascade of new questions. Even today, Petra continues to offer new insights, its stones whispering tales of a time long past. This legendary city, once lost and now found, is a living testament to the enduring legacy of the human spirit, its desire to create, to explore and to endure against the odds. As we delve into Petra's past, we find ourselves entwined in the threads of history. The city, once lost to time, now stands as a testament to the resilience, creativity and spirit of humankind. This ancient city, carved into the rose-red cliffs of Jordan, teaches us of the advanced engineering capabilities of the Nabataeans. They were a people who, over 2,000 years ago, harnessed the harsh desert climate to their advantage. They constructed a complex system of dams, canals and reservoirs, a feat of engineering that still astounds us today. From them, we learn the power of innovation and adaptation in the face of adversity. Petra also tells us a tale of commerce and trade. The Nabataeans, despite their isolation in the heart of the desert, established a sprawling trade network connecting the corners of the ancient world. They traded frankincense, myrrh and spices, commodities highly valued in the ancient world. This teaches us the importance of connectivity and exchange, even in the most challenging of landscapes. But perhaps the most profound lesson Petra imparts is one of impermanence. This bustling city, once the centre of a thriving civilization, fell into decline and was eventually abandoned, only to be rediscovered centuries later. It serves as a poignant reminder that civilizations rise and fall, that our achievements, no matter how grand, are transient. Yet it also underscores the importance of preservation. By uncovering and conserving our past, we safeguard our history, allowing future generations to learn from it, to be inspired by it. The discovery of Petra, has significantly enhanced our understanding of human history. It has filled gaps in our knowledge and provided us with a more nuanced understanding of the ancient world. Each artifact unearthed, each structure revealed, adds a new layer to the rich tapestry of our shared heritage. It's not merely about unearthing old stones or deciphering inscriptions. It's about connecting with our ancestors, understanding their dreams, their struggles, their triumphs. It's about appreciating the diversity of human experiences and recognizing the threads of commonality that bind us all. In essence, the study of history, and in this case, the exploration of Petra, is a journey of self-discovery. It is a mirror held up to our own societies, 
reflecting our strengths and our vulnerabilities. It prompts us to question, to reflect and to learn. As we stand in the shadow of Petra's towering monuments, we are reminded of our smallness in the grand narrative of time. Yet we are also reminded of our potential, of the remarkable things we are capable of achieving when we harness our ingenuity and ambition. In the echoes of Petra's past, we find not just the story of a lost city, but a piece of our collective human journey. It compels us to look back, to learn, and to carry those lessons forward as we continue to chart our path in the annals of time.